Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Pirates. Now, in the last episode, we started our pirating adventures, and we made out pretty good for ourselves. We were able to find a good portion of Henry Morgan's treasure map, took on the sixth most dreaded pirate in the Caribbean, and took him out. We're actually sailing his ship, the Blood Debt. And we took on Baron Raimundo. Now, we only were able to get a little piece of the map that we needed to get. So, we actually need to pay another visit to Baron Raimundo. But first, though, we are going to go ahead and acquire Henry Morgan's treasure and get pirate number one here in the Caribbean. Very, very upset with us. So, we're going to sail our way up here. Ow! I thought I had avoided those rocks. Now, in terms of the map, the treasure map is saying that it's in the vicinity of Gran Granada. And if you look at the world map, Gran Granada is right there. So chances are good it's going to be up here in this area. Once that happens, I think we're going to go ahead and head to Port Royal and talk to the English governor there and see about getting ourselves a promotion. And hopefully we don't run into any other nastiness on the way. I mean, we got 75 crew, the ship is full up. I think we'll be in good shape. But you never know what exactly you're going to run into. So, where are we looking for again? We're looking for... We're looking for Ville du something or other. So once we find that, we know that we are in the close vicinity of where we're going. There's a French settlement. I'm going to zoom out here just a little bit. By the way, I hope you guys are digging the um, sides of the video. I wasn't able to do it for episode one, but I am going to be able to do it for the rest of the series. So, ooh, there's Henry Morgan. Let's attack the Queen Anne's Revenge right off the bat. Let's take out Numero Uno. I want your rum, sir. It's time for Blackjack Neal to strike a pose. Ooh. All right, Rapier. And there he is, Captain Morgan. Doesn't look like he looks on the rum bottle, does he? But let's take him out. It's He has 207 folks on his crew, so we will get very quickly over... Um, overrun unless I beat Morgan quick. There we go. He's pretty fast with that cutlass, I have to say. Huzzah! And looks like... Goodbye, Captain Morgan. One of the pirate crewmen is a skilled carpenter who can make hull repairs at sea. He's quickly persuaded to join our crew. Awesome. And ten sailors, welcome aboard. And we are definitely taking the Queen Anne's Revenge. Look at how much money he had. That is, yeah, all the gold. And we are taking everything. We are keeping the Queen Anne's Revenge. That's going to be our flagship for the foreseeable future. And I'm not even going to rename it. 11,000 gold pieces. Alright. Goodbye, Henry Morgan. Now, we'll head back down here. Oh, there's the Pirate Haven. Okay, so let's check our map. We're actually going to take him out and grab his treasure all in the same breath. So it's near a geyser. There's a native village. We haven't seen one of those yet. Now, here we are, and we are searching for a geyser. I don't think we can zoom out at all. Let's see, there's a totem. Oh, there it is. Back over here, guys. X marks the spot. How much gold did he have? 
Another 10,000 gold pieces. We are on our way, guys. Excellent. Let's return to the ship. And now we'll head to Port Royal with our newly acquired flagship. We'll sell off the blood debt. And this is probably going to be a bit of a slow voyage. Let's check out the map here. Yeah, Port Royal, and we're going against the wind. It's okay, though. Now, I wonder how many people here are watching. Oh, let's use the storm to our advantage. Are excited about Pirates of the Caribbean 5. I know I am. I actually very much like the Pirates of the Caribbean movies because... I mean, all of them. I, I've liked every single one of them. The first one was obviously the best, but I liked 2 and 3, and I liked 4 as well. I think the reasoning beca because the, uh, uh, the reason of that is there are very few movie series that I've seen that have such a rich world and mythology. Wait for me. Well, get going there, Queen Anne's Revenge. They have a really rich mythology and all of these amazing, like characters that aren't main characters. The one thing that that bugged me the most about Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's End is I, I think the Calypso thing was kind of forced, but the the two twins, the two uh, in Singapore who get killed by, oh I forgot his name, but the, the second in command to the East India Company who eventually died via tentacle. He, um, oh we're getting there. I thought it would have been really fitting to have the second twin, the one who tried to avenge her, live through the entire movie and be the one to take him out. Don't get me wrong, how Davy Jones killed him was amazing, but I think it would have been really cool to have an, have an Asian crew member. I got a trade galleon right there. And there's the town of Newton, an English settlement. That's actually really cool because we can do some quests. Oh, there's Bart Roberts! Nice. Well, I guess I know who's going to be next on the list. I'm turning into quite the pirate hunter. Let's sail through that storm. Port Royal should be right over here. I guess his base is right there at the top. Mad Dick's Bones. Indeed. And it's been a long voyage. But we are getting there with quite the prize as well. Now, just to check the fleet status, that is a large frigate. So let's check the Pirate Opedia and see what exactly, like, in terms of how many guns this thing can carry. 40 maximum guns. Excellent. There's an English merchantman. We have got not gotten to the point that we can lay the smack down on our home country. We're trying to get some rank. Okay, so let's first off let's trade with the merchant. We've got 53 guns. We'll sell down to 40 and sell the spice and all we have is food at that point, so that's good. And consult with the shipwright. Let's see what we got here. We'll sell the blood debt. Thank you. You have served us well. And the Queen Anne has quite a lot of stuff, so... We'll repair. Which is strange, because I thought the Queen Anne's Revenge was Blackbeard's ship. But shows what I know, I guess. Let's talk to the governor. Let him know that we've been very busy. Still just at war with the Spanish, okay. Yeah, we took on uh, Lolane and Henry Morgan all in one blow. And now we are officially a captain by England standards. I was already a captain, though. And we get a 400-acre estate on the outskirts of town. Okay, Governor's attractive daughter. My dear Mr. Blackjack Neal, you are quite a handsome young ruffian. Perhaps when you have achieved the rank of colonel, you go to escort me to the Grand Ball. Fair enough. So she's the... In terms... They have the plain daughter, the attractive daughter, and the lovely daughter, I believe. So let's get some more folks into the crew. 
Welcome aboard, guys. I think I'll have keep the Queen Anne at about 100, 150. Now, they're going to hear... She, he will just let us know about Baron Raimondo's position. We can get that for free by going to a mission, so we're not interested in that. He's just trying to screw us out of a thousand gold. And she's happy that we've been promoted to captain. And the shipwright in Eleuthera can upgrade our ship with cotton sails and make the Queen Anne go faster. So that's something. But everything looks good. Now I think we'll pay Bart Roberts a call. Look at this gorgeous ship. Oh, well, he's coming to us. The Sloop of War Cassandra, 16 guns, 85 men. So let's use Grape Shot. Oh, I forgot. These guys, th these big ships actually, it takes them a while. Okay, he's just going to ram us. That's fine. If you think you can handle, or if you think you can tangle with me. Hit him with one little grape shot flurry before that happens. And where are you? He's a swanky looking guy, isn't he? He is quite the dandy. Wonder if that's his actual hair or a powdered wig. I like that coat. The one thing I don't like about this game is I really wish that you could customize your pirate. You can do it in the Wii version, but not in the original. I don't even think they have a whole lot of customization in terms of modding. Now, are you going to do the same thing? Wow. Well, you you hit my ship, so you get what you pay for. 1,800 gold pieces, so he wasn't that bad. wonder where he was on the, uh, on the list. Let's go ahead and just leave the guns. He was number seven. Okay, so he was right behind Lulane. So let's head to Newton, and we'll see about getting some refugees to tag along with us to Port Royal. Actually, maybe not. Let's... All we got is food. That's fine. Let's go... Ooh, I am not selling the Queen Anne. We are selling this, though. Goodbye, Cassandra. We barely knew ye. Now, we can talk to the mayor. I've been appointed as the new governor of Grand Bahama. I have big plans for economic growth. Blackjack Neal, I assume you will protect my ship from harm as I travel to assume my new duties. I don't know where Grand Bahama is. That's pretty far. Wow, that is a long way. That's quite the escort quest, but we'll probably find a mission on the way. Well, we can always escort them. We can choose not to do it. No one to recruit. Information on Margarita. I'm sure Blackjack knows all about Margaritas. 120 soldiers. 2,600 farmers. Fair enough. And we're, we're now number five on the most notorious pirate list. Despite the fact that we took out number one. And the governor of Petite Grove. Fair enough. So, let's sail away. And there's the governor, apparently having some sort of attack. The fastest ship I've ever seen before. So are you... The governor is following me. Oh, okay. Well, that's something. And we have hit a definite uh, lull in wind. Let's zoom out just a little bit. There's Porto Principe. Cutthroat Rock. We've got to find... Am I actually going to where I need to go here? Map. Oh, no, we are not. Never mind. <laughs> this way, Governor. Right through the storm. A little damage to the sails never hurt anyone. 
And we are going to be passing right by Portobello, I believe. Is it Portobello? I think I think it might be. Oh, Santiago. Where's Portobello? I think that's over here. Either that or I'm really in the mood for mushrooms. I can just go ahead and... And hit there, the, the ship's name is the Speaker. So it's starting to leave us. That's fine. And I'm not seeing any missions over here, so I guess we're here for the long haul. There's a little French settlement up there. Trade galleon. They're going to send something. There's a royal galleon. Those don't really carry a whole lot of treasure, I don't think. No. The Aragorn. Or Aragon. Never mind. I was like, I don't want to tackle with the Aragon. Grain transport, grain transport. So apparently Santiago is in need of food in the worst way possible. Spanish Raider. Now you, I'll take out because you're heading straight for the governor, I can almost guarantee. So, a war galleon, eh? And I hate the fact that you guys get a free shot on me. It's alright, though. I mean, you got 173 crew. I'm actually probably going to have to... Uh... There we go. Good grape shot knocks them down to 128 crew. I think it's time to go ahead and... Well, actually, no. We're just going to... Let's we'll whittle them down to nothing. 83 crew. My only concern is getting too damaged to fight off the pirate hunters that are probably going to show up right after we're done. They have 73 crew left. And we've lost some guns. And that didn't hit. Let's go ahead and Looks like we're both tired of this. Rapier. The problem with the frigate and all these heavy ships, they don't have a whole lot of maneuverability. Which is why once I find that elusive brig of war, I'm probably going to retire the Queen Anne. Something small, fast, and deadly. Huzzah! That's a war galleon for us, boys. Now, welcome aboard. Let's grab enough guns to get back to our full 40. And all they had was food as well. We're going to sink her. 50-40. Looks good. Oh, wow. Excellent. They did not send a pirate hunter after us. So we will head to Leroy here. And... Consult with the shipwright. Repair the Queen Anne. Let's visit the tavern while we're here. Yes, we talk. Information about Gibraltar. Spanish treasure fleet is heading for Europe. Well, that doesn't really help me. And Tortuga's daughter, the governor of Tortuga's daughter, is a real beauty. Okay. Spanish smuggler? It's not that bad. Now, we need to avoid this because if we attack enough ships, then they're going to start shooting us as we pass by. Trade galleon? I think we're just going to let the... leave the governor to his own devices. We need to head up there to that mission up north. Find out where Baron Raimondo is. Because that is where all the money is, believe it or not, is rescuing your family. Potentially. Invasion force? Where are you heading? Oh, they're heading to an English colony. We need to take them out. Uh, hey, guys. Um, I don't mean to be rude. But that will not do. And we're just going to use our round shot here. Nice. That's a good flurry. There's 200, or there was 200, now there's 189. 
We still have only 67 crew, but we're a little bit faster than them. And they're just trying to ram us. Oh, and they did. And he's got a... looks like a longsword. So as long as we're patient and don't panic, we should be fine. I don't think I've gotten wounded yet. And I had to say something, didn't I? Have at thee! On guard! Indeed. 21 sailors. I will welcome all you guys aboard. And that was 1365, so they had a good war chest. And we will go ahead and sink her. Get back to our 50. Uh oh. I just heard the pirate hunter. And a Spanish raider. And I think we passed right by the mission, didn't we? I'm, pre I'm pretty sure we did. We just flew right by. Let's check that map. Yeah, we did. Spanish raider, where are you heading? They're returning to Santiago, so we'll just leave them lie. They're, they don't seem to be doing anything. And... And there are a lot of pirate havens around here. That's awesome. Map. Actually, we're about to turn the corner, aren't we? Alright. I guess we'll just turn around. Urch! I did see a mission. I'm almost sure of it. Santa Maria? This makes me think of Rage Against the Machine. An English smuggler. Pirates attack the city of Santiago, mountains of gold. And that basically downgrades the city once they get attacked. Well, I guess we're traveling along the Cuban coast here looking for a mission. I may have just, like, passed it right before I was going to see it earlier. No worries, though. We're heading toward Havana and the Florida Keys. Have a little drink down in Kokomo. There's Santa Nina. Now that is going to be an interesting bit of sailing. Oh, look at this. Oh, can't. My ship's too big. So I guess we're going to have to... Oh, am I stuck on a sandbar? I am. Come on. We got to... Back our way out of here. Oh, sail away. Come sail away. There we go. That had me worried there for a sec. I could go ahead and land the crew and walk over there, but... Meh. There you are. There's one. Near the Florida Keys. There's a Spanish raider. Where are you heading? They're heading to Grand Bahama. Friendly Jesuit mission. I don't think we'd find an unfriendly one. Now. Hiding in the city of Veracruz. Where's that at? Oh, wow. That's over near Mexico. Well. Guess we have our orders. We gotta go give uh, Baron Raimondo another nosebleed. And maybe we'll find one of the other pirates on our way. Because the person I, I... The only of the notorious pirates... A Brig of War is pretty rare. But the one that I've... The one of the notorious pirates who does... Who is in a, a Brig of War is Captain Kidd. So if we're able to find Captain Kidd... Yeah, we're taking him out as soon as possible and grabbing that ship. So I guess I, I caused a paradox. Instead of Captain Morgan's rum, there'll be Black Jack Neal's rum. And I would like to think that Black Jack Neal's rum would be similar to the Kraken Spiced Rum, which is my favorite rum to drink. Yeah, Sister, Raimondo, need to get another piece of that map. But we've got 32,684 gold, so that is not too shabby. And Veracruz, he probably isn't going to be at Veracruz, but we'll travel along here just in case he's 
um, heading elsewhere. And we'll... Oh, it's Jack Rackham. Hello there, Mr. Rackham. Might as well knock another uh, name off the list. You aren't Captain Kidd, but you'll do. However, his ship may, looks to be a little bit faster than mine. Less gear. Less crew, too. Oh, there's a Dutch settlement. Oh, hello there, treasure ship. No, Jack. <laughs> um, the treasure galleon is mine, the Hispaniola. Right out of Treasure Island. Have at thee! And I did get hit. He has 178 crew. Hell's bells. That's what I need to name my flagship. If I take his, I should call it the Hell's Bells. I think I will. We'll ram that ship. I want treasure. And I want it now. Your, your uh, armor chest piece will not save you. We can actually find that in the game. And it assists us in uh, succumbing to injuries from dueling. Because that actually ages you faster, I believe. There we go. The evil Bayo Ramondo is on his way to Campeche. He set away from Veracruz 53 days ago. And we will welcome you guys aboard. We'll just take your gold, not your treasure. I know you have luxuries, but... So, 40. We'll sink her. Too much trouble, and we're in Spanish waters, so we're not going to find a friendly port. Hi, Jack. You want a piece of this? And where was he going again? Let's check the map. He was going to Capeche, I believe. So he is probably going to... We're probably going to find him over here. And Jack doesn't want any of us, but right now, in a strange bit of irony, we're heading to a Spanish settlement and repairing the Queen Anne. And that's all we're going to do here. And let's see if we can take out... Oh, okay, there's Jack. He took out... A, he's taken on a royal galleon. We'll come back to him on our way back. And that's where he was heading to, wasn't he? Yep. He should be here. And there he is. Hey! That was not good. We went right through the rocks and now we are a bit smoky. For the purposes of this, because we are very smoky, we're going to do this. We're going to go to Zaragoza Nuevo. We're going to... Repair the Queen Anne again. That is very expensive. Sail away. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to chill here and tell for the Baron to make port. And now we're going to sail into Capeche before he can... Oh, never mind. Looks like we are going to take him on. Oh, we're getting shot at by both. Not good. Not good at all. Let's see if we can actually attack him. And he has a new ship. I forgot what it was called, but it was a very long name. And he's just going... He's getting straight to it. He's got 163 against 56. But he should know better than the cross swords with me. Uh-huh. Have you learned nothing? This seems very familiar, Baron, and I'm sure we're going to have plenty of other fights like this before too much longer. Excellent. Now, are you going to actually give me a good portion of the map this time? Nice. Vicinity of Santa Marta. Looks good. Let's get all the things. Take all the guns. All the food. And we will sink... And we are good. Now I'll go ahead and end the episode here, guys. We got a pirate hunter after us. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. 
If you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.